What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to check out another gem from Mandu Games, a company that for years now I'm telling you that are making great games and you are not listening to me and making their games more popular. This one is called The Veil vale of Eternity. It is basically Pokemon the board game. I mean it's not, but you are collecting these really cute animals. The artwork is absolutely insane and you are activating their abilities and doing all kinds of different stuff with them. So yeah, without further ado, let me show you what you get inside this box. And uh, let's talk a little bit about why The Veil of Eternity is such a great game. So yeah, oh, first of all, you get a rule book that explains you how the game works. And over here you have two boards. One of the boards is to track your uh, to track your points and uh, how many turns have passed uh, as you are playing this game for 10 turns and also you, the order over here will tell you who's the first player for each round and on the other side you will have this thing going on actually not in the other side in the middle of the table you will have this thing going on and basically you will shuffle this huge stack of cards and you will draw cards however many player is times two and you will put them depending where they go and uh, you can of course so this is blue for example this one will go here i just put few of them over here just to give you an idea so if this happens it's completely viable option so that's okay so it's all oh my god so it's all blue and pink what's going on so there's different colors of here let's say for example we do it like this doesn't really matter right now uh, so yeah and uh, each of the players will get a to two tokens in their own color and with these tokens you will basically you will take these tokens and basically you will in an order in a, in a katan order i like to say that's the order when uh, you have to pick two things and if you are the first to pick then you are also last to pick so for the first one let's say for example i pick this one and for the second one uh, so everybody picks something then the last player picks a second time then the third and the second player then me again first player for example say i pick this card over here let's say all these cards are picked by other players doesn't really matter right now and now i can choose if i want to take this card in front of myself do whatever it does if it has like automatic ability that says draw a card i can draw a card in my hand and uh, it also has an infinite ability which means it it's constantly working and it says whenever i summon a card i earn one point so each time i play a card i will earn myself one point uh but yeah i i can take the card in my hand or i can just discard the card and take whatever stones these uh, creatures are offering so these are offering uh, stones that are worth three and one and you can only have a certain amount of stones in front of yourself it doesn't matter the value it just matters that you don't you can't have uh, like more than uh, three stones in front of yourself oh my god i completely forgot how many stones can you have in front of yourself if i'm not mistaken the limit is i need to check now the rules because now i'm really really confused uh, I think it's it's five or something like that. So for some strange reason, I can't really. For the love of me, I don't know now how much you can have in front of yourself. But it really doesn't matter. It me it, what matter is you are limited by the number of stones that you can have in front of yourself, and you are using these to purchase these creatures. You are using these to activate creatures' abilities, and. Uh, as I said, let me just show you a little bit of artwork. It's just absolutely stellar. Check out this artwork. All these creatures are different. All of them are unique. I don't think there is no two creatures that look the same or they have somewhat similar abilities, but uh, they are really different. And some of them are like super, super powerful. And uh, for, for uh, some reason, beyond me, I'm not sure really why I didn't read it. It's probably something that has with the story. This one, if you have it, you also get a uh, this uh, like a cardboard standy with it. Uh, but yeah, the gameplay itself. So you are taking these creatures, you are putting them in front of yourself. And as, as you are doing that, you are constantly activating their abilities. And you are trying to score as much point as you possibly can and whoever has the most point by the end of the game is the winner and some of these creatures 
if you play them smart, they can score you an insane amount of points. You can just jump with points. But that doesn't mean it's overpowered because you can go slow and steady wins the race where you are slowly collecting points. Each turn you get a little bit, each turn you get a little bit. Or you can just wait, wait, wait and then capitalize on the last few turns, like on a final turn. Just try and grab as much points as you can. Uh, this game is absolutely phenomenal. It is such a fast game, it goes really smoothly, uh, there's really little room for, anal for analysis paralysis. Some of these abilities, yeah, you need to take them into your hand to read them and all that, but once you start playing the game, you get really familiarized, you see icons, you already probably can figure out what cards do, and you just pick the cards you want. As I said, sometimes you can block out and think, oh, should I go for this one or for this one? Because sometimes you see a card, and you know if that player, other player, takes it, you know you are messed up, you know you are screwed. He's probably going to target you because some of these cards have the mean abilities, so to say. Uh, but uh, yeah, in essence, it's really fast game, it's super fun, it's absolutely awesome, artwork is stellar. This game deserves to be known more by default. I, I didn't see many people talking about it. I know it was sold out at Essen Spiel, but after it, I didn't saw much buzz about it, but it definitely deserves all the buzz it can get. It's a fun, cool game. Definitely check out The Veil vale of Eternity. The Veil vale of Eternity. Eternia. The Veil vale of Eternity. I don't know what's, what's with me tonight. Uh, I guess I'm a little bit tired. So yeah, I will end up on this great note. It's a great game. Check out. You need to own it. You need to have it. It's a wonderful, wonderful game. It works spectacularly. And uh, that is that. That's all I have to say about it. I'm a little bit tired, so I should definitely go to bed or something like that. So, yeah, until next time. Pozdrav.